Hi guys, welcome back to Objeda. So in the last one, we saw that, you know, uh, how these life cycle methods work. And in this one, I'm going to talk about another one, which is tick. Okay, so tick only works on asynchronous functions where, let's say there are uh, many updates happening uh, in a component. What Svelte usually does is if there are too many updates, it will batch all the updates and update the component at once. What tick does is tick can make it step by step or you can you can use tick to detect a certain or particular change in the component so i'll, I'll show you maybe it's not very uh, comprehensive now uh, let's say we have this update greetings right so we i have something like name equals sharat i can change it to i, I can uh, change that to something like uh, john i can also uh, change that again to uh, earth something like that but when you uh, run the update right uh, this world will change to earth and even though we have these uh, intermediate changes uh, svelte will batch them up and you will only be able to like you know test against earth um, so something like let's say i have uh, like let me run this first it shows hello earth now if i something like console.log um, name right so let's uh, console it out I'll just remove all these uh, consoles for now these are already tested in our uh, last video now if I switch we see um, world right and if I update we see earth but we don't see uh, even though this is a reactive declaration we don't see John or we don't see uh, Sharad right so which should have happened but in uh, svelte as i said it will update the things first and then uh, does the update to the component in a batch so that you know uh, we don't see the intermediate steps if you want to check them so you can make this function an async function and then uh, you can use the tick uh, you should have called it here you should have imported it from uh, i'll just okay import it from svelte and then you can have a wait and tick function so now what happens is it will uh, you know uh, swelled has to wait or has to make this change and then I go through these changes so if I switch and update you see Sharath right so if I have another await after John so it will have to wait again instead of uh, uh, updating them in batch switch update so i see all of them so this is the use of uh, tick uh, it may not be used in uh, many cases but in extreme cases where you want this uh, you can use it okay that's it guys i'll see you in the next one bye